This video's aim is to help if you are suffering with plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia is a tough and flexible band of tissue that runs under the sole of your foot. It connects the heel bone with the bones of your feet. It acts as a shock absorber for your feet. Plantar fasciitis occurs when the plantar fascia becomes damaged and inflamed. This can occur due to repetitive activities, for example, jumping and running. These can cause sudden damage to the area or by gradual wear and tear of the area over time. Some of the main predispositions to getting plantar fasciitis are tight coughs, rolling in or out of your feet, poor footwear, spending a lot of time on your feet, and overtraining without enough recovery time. The symptoms are usually short pain under the foot, usually towards the heel. Pain on walking and in particular on taking the first step in the morning are usually worst. It is usually tender to touch in this area. You must rest the plantar fascia from the aggravating activities Self-treatments include applying ice wrapped in a damp tea towel to the sole of your foot. Take a course of anti-inflammatories unless you have been advised not to take these by your GP. Painkillers will help to control pain until it subsides. Take advice from your pharmacist. A physiotherapist can help to put a tailored exercise program together for you to stretch the muscles in the affected area but here are a few things that may help. Calf stretch. To stretch the right leg, take a long stride forwards with your left leg. Keep both of your feet pointing forwards. Now while keeping your back knee straight and your back heel in contact with the floor, start to bend your front knee and lean your body forwards until you feel a stretch in your back leg's calf. Hold for 30 seconds and then repeat for the other leg if needed. The plantar fascia stretch. Sitting in a chair, prop your foot up on the opposite knee. Now take hold of your foot with both hands and pull your foot and toes up towards your shin. You should feel a stretch underneath your foot and in your calf muscle. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat little and often. Rolling object under your foot. It may also help if you roll your foot over a cylindrical object such as a rolling pin or a cool drinks can while seated. This will cool the area but massaging it at the same time. Remember one of the potential causes was foot posture. Here are some information to help you to work out what your feet do and therefore what can help. Most people overpronate, which needs support and motion control. If you are neutral, then you need a mix of slight support and cushioning. If you are the least common foot type, then you are an oversupinator. You will need lots of shock absorption and cushioning. As you can see here is some video analysis of an overpronator. Note the tilted in angle of the heels. This is an oversupinator. As you can see the heel tilts out and in this example the right is doing this a lot. The final video is of a neutral foot type which is the heel being close to perpendicular to the ground. There are exercises and insoles that can also help these foot types as well as the correct trainers. 
If you play sport with the wrong trainers, then you could risk injury. Remember, prevention is better than cure. Here is an example of some insole correction to an overpronating foot. You can get trainers and insoles specific to your foot type and this may help. Obviously if you are unsure on this then your physiotherapist can guide you to the correct footwear and insoles. If you get worsening symptoms or are unsure then initially reduce the push into discomfort with the stretches and if this isn't enough, then stop altogether and consult your physiotherapist. Physiotherapists are trained to treat plantar fasciitis. They use evidence-based techniques such as deep tissue friction massage, ultrasound, acupuncture and an exercise program which can help you to settle symptoms and aid the healing process.